Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And um, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, harvest humility. You, you know, um, I, I'm, just, I'm just looking at, I'm still looking at the story of Peter at the lakeside Genazaret, where, you know, he had stared at failure in the face, not even stared at failure in the face. He had eaten the bread of failure, you know, where he had told all night and caught nothing. And then all of a sudden, Jesus comes through, God comes through, or God came through, and all of a sudden, his harvest, his, his song of, 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 of failure uh, became a song of victory, his song of, of, of loss. And having caught nothing, all of a sudden, his, his, his song of famine, all of a sudden became... Um, a song of, of, of harvest. Well, let me just say that his dead of uh, famine uh, suddenly became an area of victory. Now, you know, one of the things that was very interesting. Now, the Bible said something that immediately, I mean, Peter caught that great drought of fish. The Bible says he went down on his knees. He bowed. He went down on his knees and then he began to talk to Jesus and say, listen, I'm seeing that this is too much for me. And then I realized something. Success made Peter humble. Success made Peter humble. Oh, wow. Sometimes you see the character of people, the real character of people when they are successful. Success makes you lift up your shoulders. Success makes your head swell bigger than Humpty Dumpty. Success makes you, makes you arrogant. Success makes you very, I mean, hey, that is it. All of a sudden, your shoulders have developed a new structure. All of a sudden, your head, or your, your, your nose is up in the air. And there are many people that success betrays their real character. Success really exposes who they are. Success makes people know that this guy, and, and it is and it's sad. That the little success that you have, now that you're rubbing shoulders with the high and mighty, now that you're sitting on the tables of kings or whatever it is, Success has made you so pompous and so proud and so arrogant and so condescending towards other people. Now, Peter gets a great draught of fish and he goes down on his knees. Success has made you so, so, so arrogant that you don't even have time for God. You will never acknowledge God in, in, the, in your affairs. You never acknowledge the times when you were, you were praying, you were saying, God, give me one more chance. You will never even acknowledge the time you were going to church and you were, you, you, you were serving in the house of God and doing all the things, doing the manual jobs. But right now, success has made you so pompous and so arrogant and so proud that your knees will never bend. Well, keep going that way. But for Peter, his harvest made him humble. I wonder what your harvest is doing to you. Is your harvest making you a caricature? Is your harvest just destroying your character? Is your harvest making you so pompous that you have become a pompous monster? Peter, his harvest made him humble. You know, one of the things I, I always say, if you know where God takes us from, if you really, if you really know what God did in the story of your success, there's no need to be proud. There's every reason to say, grace made the difference in my life. There's no need to be proud. Grace makes the difference. Well, the choice is to marry your harvest with humility or to marry your harvest with pride is always your choice. So, see you later.